Hi there, this is Mark Anderson from Andertunes.com, and I'm going to show you how I shade a cartoon in Photoshop. The first thing I do is I use an action that I created to move all of my layers around. I'll show you how to do that some other time, but what it does is it moves the ink to the top layer and then uh, creates some layers underneath it, makes the ink layer a multiply layer. I also created some patterns here for myself using my markers and the paper that I normally use and I scanned that in and created some patterns to emulate what I would normally do. The reason I'm not shading this using my regular marker and, and papers that I would use for my regular cartoons is this is a custom cartoon that I'm doing for a client. So I like to use my Photoshop markers so that I can create layer after layer after layer and then if the client requires something different or would like a person's hair color change or we need to do this or that I can go back in and change it without having to redraw the original art so that's why I'm doing this and of course I've got Mystery Science Theater 3000 the movie playing over here on on the right side uh, shading isn't my favorite thing to do uh, it's sort of a necessary evil, uh, so when I have a lot of shading to do, I, oh, poor Dr. Forrester, I put a, uh, a movie on sort of in a little window there to, uh, that I can listen to or, or, you know, tune into here, here and there again. So here I'm, I'm shading. Let me get back to the actual shading part of this tutorial. Um, I use, uh, again, my, my pattern brush and the eraser. Those are the two tools that I really use, and then I create different layers. So this first layer here is sort of a light gray. I think it's a 30% gray for her hair and for the computer here. Now I've created another layer, and I'm going to use a slightly darker pattern for the chair. So it's pretty simple. You just sort of lay the... Um, uh, the shading in as nicely as you can. Now I see there, because I put that layer underneath the other layer, when I color over by that computer, that shading goes underneath that layer so that you can't see it. Um, this is pretty standard Photoshop coloring, shading sort of things, but if you don't, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I'm going to choose another uh, slightly darker color for his chair to sort of make him pop a little bit. I've noticed sometimes I have problems. I use a Wacom tablet and sometimes it, it seems like it has a problem. Maybe it's Photoshop, maybe it's a tablet. Recognizing like that I want a variable brush size. And I have all the settings set up correctly, I'm pretty sure. And sometimes it's just it doesn't seem to recognize it. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows if there's something that I'm missing there, let me know. I would appreciate it. So I'm sort of erasing around his arm there and getting this shading more and more correct. And this is going pretty well. There's actually not a whole lot to shade in this cartoon, which is why I chose it. Sometimes you, especially with a crowd scene um, or something like that, there can be a lot, a lot, a lot of shading. And I didn't want, I didn't want to show you a half an hour of look. I'm shading now. I'm erasing now. I'm shading now. I'm erasing now. I'm shading now. I'm erasing. This is already uh, uh, going to be tedious enough, but I will try to make it interesting for you. So I think I'm on my third layer now. Um, and again, I've taken that third layer and, and put it underneath the first two. Uh, the ink layer on top is set to multiply so that you can see things under the ink. And then I do my shading layers underneath that, and they're all set to normal. And then I have a background layer of just pure white. And then, of course, I have other layers for laying in the captions, um... And, and other things that there there was another layer for that eBay uh, logo but I had just merged that in there okay doing a little detail there on the desk 
making sure that uh, that, that all makes sense. Uh, I left her shirt and her phone white because the desk and the chair have already been shaded. Oh, here, I'm just doing a little bit of detail work on the supposed eBay page. It doesn't need to be detailed there. You're, in fact, it's better if it's not because you don't want people asking, well, what, what's she looking at? Is she looking at a purse? Is she looking at a toy? Is she looking at, what is she looking at? It doesn't really matter. You just need it to register as eBay. Also, that eBay logo is really big, I know, but you need it to register and read quickly. So you sort of fudge how big it actually is so that the reader can actually read it and understand that she's on eBay for the purpose of this cartoon. Okay, now I'm doing his tie. And uh, there I'm sort of erasing his hand out of the, uh, out of the tie. I... Boy, I try to be as detailed as I can when I lay in the shading. Um, because then it's, it's sort of a... You can either be detailed when you put in the shading, or you can worry about the detail when you're erasing. And I sort of go in between there. You try to stay in the lines as much as you can. That's That would be a nice feature on Photoshop, is stay in the lines. Uh, although most of my lines don't connect. So that's not really going to work, but it would be nice if it could sort of intuit that. So photo Adobe people get to work on that. Or if someone knows, again, if you know how to do that and I'm just missing it, let me know. Drop me an email. Okay, doing the uh, the desk here. We're getting uh, getting towards the end of this one. This is a pretty quick shade. Um, here I go. I'm sort of doing that. Doing his desk here, I'll go in and do some erasing. Just sort of get that that edge there so that it doesn't look uh, too jagged or, you know. Doing some erasing here on the top of the desk. Still watching Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie. This is all the intro. They haven't started. The, the movie is really good. If you haven't, this island Earth, this is... Uh, this is a great, well, it's not an episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000, but it, it's the, the movie that they made. Really fun. All right, back to, uh, back on task here. Uh, I did some shading and some erasing that I didn't like, so I, you know, controlled, I think it's controlled shift C to go back a couple of steps. So taking another shot at that. I would prefer to do all of this shading, like, right on the actual paper with the actual art. But like I said, you never know. I've had enough times where a client has come back and wanted something changed that I sort of learned my lesson. So it's not as organic a look as I would like. But what you make up for in being able to go back and fix things totally, totally makes this worth it. So looks like we are just about done. Uh, so this is the uh, the final version of this, and uh, I think it was only two, three, four layers of shading, and uh, I think that looks pretty good. So I will add the caption later, uh, save this for the client, and uh, send, oh, and look, the movie's starting. So I think that's my cue to leave. Thank you for watching. Make sure you visit andertoons.com for lots of great cartoons and other fun stuff, and uh, have a great day.